Hey everybody, it's Angry Otter, coming to you from inside the office again. So what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of talk a little bit about what I did this weekend with uh, the game development meetup um, at the local Game Table Cafe. Uh, it it went pretty well. There was a turnout of two, three, four, five, six, and then a dude kind of showed up a little late. So about five, six of us. Um, the wife went, she was actually really supportive, and she kind of pointed some things out to me that I may have missed during the conversation, which was really great. Uh, we got to demo a game that somebody had been working on that uh, they're eventually going to take to a publisher, which wasn't bad, not necessarily my cup of tea, but still, not bad, you know? It's kind of cool to see one that's still in the process of development. Um, but one of the things I, I kind of got the real good idea of, of was for the RPG, which is what I was I had taken with me, and so like I actually copied out uh, one of the then recent versions of the beta, which is what seventy one pages or so of rules. Uh, and the first question that got posed to me was like, you know, what's my goal? What is the goal of this game? And I thought, well, I kind of want to get it into the hands of as many people that want to play it as possible. So I started thinking about that. He said, you know, it's a really good goal to have. He didn't know anything much about RPGs, so he was asking some good questions so I could kind of explain it. It was almost like giving the, uh, the elevator, um, what do they call that? The elevator pitch, right? You give it 30 seconds to kind of pitch your idea and to hope that it makes sense and that it's cohesive. And even for somebody who didn't have a whole lot of experience with role-playing games, he seemed to have had some sort of interest into, into it, but, um, really nice guy, gave some good ideas, and genuinely what I came to realize was that it's it's a little too complex. If I want people to use this as a means of kind of almost getting into the hobby, I need to make it more simple, right? I can't assume that people have any role-playing experience necessarily when they pick this up if I want this to be almost a gateway game. Now, for those of you that don't know, a gateway game is very literally just that. It's almost like, and I hate to use the phrase, but they give me a drug, right? It's the starting point to get into the hobby further. The more complex you make those gateway games or whatever, it makes it actually not a gateway game at all. Uh, and it can actually have a tendency to stray your uh, audience away from it. Like, they can see that it's a little too complex for their taking, and if they're looking for something simple, then that's what you gotta do. So I made the executive decision, basically, for the beta, to remove a couple of major pieces. Now, we'll go into this again in more detail. I'm actually probably going to start another little mini-series called, like, How to House Brow, which is what I've been calling this thing, and that's kind of the project name. But I might just leave it as that for the actual game itself. Um, but How to House Brow is going to ultimately have pretty much just the, the concept of, you know, very quick clips about each section little bit of further amplification so that if people really want to or if they have any questions about some rule sets or rulings maybe that the videos would be able to help them and be almost not necessarily a watch it played but a how to play for the role playing game so because I know a lot of people myself my wife included we are very visual learners and maybe while I may not have a visual aspect of showing the mechanics I can certainly have the visual aspect of my mug and my voice explaining what it is I had intended with the rule set to begin with in case something doesn't come out as clear in text. Because I can't guarantee that my understanding is the same as somebody else's. Um, so we might do some of those. That's probably going to be a separate little playlist, but it's also going to be a little additional thing here and there. I might not advertise that near as much except for on the blog for the game itself, but we'll see. Um, another thing I realized is my online presence for the role-playing game is terrible. You know, I needed to really kind of work on that and to kind of really promote my product as much as I hate putting myself out there for it. Um, and I also got some pretty good resources for being able to actually play test. So my online group that I used to play role-playing games with and I've not had the chance to just because of life, you know, um, I may end up asking them here before too long, hey, you guys want to hop online for a couple of sessions sporadically once a week or once a month rather? Um, and I think I could get a good portion of them. Not all of them would be available, and that's, you know, that's fine. But even if it was like, hey, give me two hours of your time, I'll have some scenarios set up, you can reuse characters, this, that, and the other, or, hey, bump yourself up to the next level, I want to test some higher levels and all that. Um, so I may end up starting to kind of go down that route. And as much as I am afraid of it, I, I need to do it. I need to. Because there's no point in having put all this time and effort into having made this, 
to let it just sit there and maybe hope that somebody finds it when scrolling across the internet late at night with nothing better to do, and then hope that it catches fire, so to speak. I know this isn't going to be a very popular game, but I just kind of want people to try to use it. Maybe give it a go. If they don't like it, that's fine. And it's another thing that I need to get over mentally. Not everyone's going to like what I've put together. Not everyone's going to think that my ideas are great. But that's fine. It's easier said than done, but I need to kind of work on that myself, right? So, um, aside from all of that, we managed to get in two more games of Hero Realms, and the wife has managed to beat me both times. Um, so, I've not really been holding back, to be fair, and I think if I can, I need to adjust my aggression level in order to actually take her out. Um, but, uh, that, the game table, uh, meetup, and the changes to the beta rules, because I put out a new version yesterday, um, that's what I've been pretty much primarily up to. The... Other thing is that we ended up ordering a new board game called Tiny Epic Quest, and I may start doing some small reviews. These things are everywhere, though. So, YouTube, if you're looking for quick uh, how to play board games and you like get yourself stuck, there's a ton, a ton of both review and walkthrough how to play videos. One of my favorite channels now is How It's Played, a gentleman named Rodney Smith up in Canada and his uh, colleague Pep. McDonald, they do an amazing job at explaining to you the setup of a game, how to play it, and a lot of times they'll do a let's play, which might be a little bit on the scripted side, but honestly it then goes through and makes sure that it hits all the mechanics so that you can see it actually playing in action. So that's how I actually got really interested in like the Shadespire. Uh, I saw them do the setup, and then they did three, they've done three now for let's play or how it's played. Um, and it's actually, it's just great. It's great information to see somebody set it up so you get a visualization of that and you get the verbal confirmation. It's something that you can refer to over and over again, as opposed to, okay, well, I may be sitting at the table, but all of a sudden I just forgot every rule that I was taught because it's a lot of things to remember. So it's nice to be able to get that that knowledge put in and get it kind of embedded into your head before you even start playing, so that eventually you might come into a scenario and you're like, oh, you know, I remember that. Um, so I, if you don't already follow them, I'll leave their channel down below in the description. I'm probably going to leave it on my channel as, like, followed things. Love those dudes. They're great. They're absolutely phenomenal, and they're, they, they seem really nice. Um, so that's definitely one to check out. Um, but we're excited to play the new game. She's kind of a little bit, uh, not timid necessarily, but she just wants to make sure that she doesn't do anything wrong. And it's like, it's, you know, that's all, that's all part of it. It's all part of learning and, uh, and having fun with it. So, um, so that's about it that I, uh, for, for this week, so to speak. I'll probably start doing a couple of those other smaller videos here and there just to kind of pepper them in as best I can, but literally I'm going to take pretty much the entire rule book and go almost major section by major section and try to cover it in three to five minutes if I can, and then we'll throw it up on YouTube and see if people end up watching it or want to. And then I'll uh, have a link through all the blogs and everything else like that for the game, and uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, oh, one last thing. I did finish the dwarf cards and all of the... Because I guess the last update I had given wasn't to cover this, but I covered, I finished all of the, uh, the elf character cards for the Age of Fantasy skirmish. So these are all the elf ones. I actually ended up printing. What I ended up doing was I just used card stock that I already had and cut them out, so I wouldn't have to reformat everything. But this way, as you can see here, there we go. If it scan, zoom, little zoom. Maybe not. Okay, well, as you can see, I'm using, you know, a heart, a target, and a shield to kind of help better identify and make it a little more visually appealing uh, to what those are used for when it comes time. We might be a long way off from that, though. Uh, as much as I'd like to think that we were going to get to, you know, moving things around and playing around on a tabletop, I don't think I'm ready to do it yet. I'm kind of really enjoying going through some of the board games yet that I've not played since Roll ever, really. So, there's a lot out there. There's a lot to cover. But, um... I'm excited for it. This has actually been a lot of fun so far. Uh, and that's that's what the whole point of games is, right? It's the, the whole point of gaming is to just enjoy yourself. If you don't have fun, it's not a game. So, let's just have some fun with it, you know? Um, well, we're going to leave it there. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to swing by. I appreciate you guys saying anything in the comments. If you have any questions, you have any comments, obviously, or uh, whatever about what we're doing, what we're playing. You know, leave them below. Find me on Twitter. Those will be in the description for the, the video as well. And, uh, yeah, hope everybody's doing really well. Really appreciate it, guys. Take care. See ya.